a cinnamon tisane welcome in today's video we're going to get into my fragrance diary and that is what i have worn in the month of july and august this is a series i have been doing since the beginning of my fragrance journey you will find a playlist that has all these episodes i will link it up above or in the description box below I basically I'm just using it as a way to document what I'm wearing and to see how I'm growing fragrance wise I'm quite new to this journey but old I've always loved fragrance I've always had the a larger than normal collection but in 2019 2019 yes <laughs> or 2020 not sure one of those years I decided to really get back into collecting and really understand fragrance as a grown woman welcome my name is ijama i'm a beauty lover a skincare influencer a pro makeup artist and a woman of a certain age and i feel like all those things give me an authority to do what i'm doing on my channel so july august slightly audacious i did a declutter i went through quite a bit of my collection i've done a declutter i've got some empties there's some fragrances that i wore and i finished and i wore some fragrances <laughs> um i wore so much that i decided to only concentrate on what i remembered because that's how much i went through my collection i just had to try everything i really wanted to do a culling so i've got a few fragrances that i've remembered that were standouts I've got empties and I've got my declutters so let's start with the empties I've got them in this box I'm just going to open them up and go through them I'm not going to go too in depth into notes I just want to show you what I finished I also went through quite a few samples I wanted to get rid of my samples and see what I'm going to buy a full bottle or not buy so let's jump into it I first wore Pen Halligan's Opus 1870. This, let me see if I can find it. I made sure to leave just a little bit so that we could experience it together. Hopefully I'll be able to get something out. No? Anyway, I don't remember this being memorable. The notes say that it has some rose, some mask, some cedar wood, there's some pepper. I don't remember this being memorable so yeah moving on I then wore another sample this is Mr. Sam the blazing Mr. Sam from Penhaligans again and the notes in this the notes are not on here but I also remember this not being memorable if I'm not wrong let's spray it i might throw some notes up on the screen yeah not memorable something sweet somewhat reminds me of what's the one that everybody likes to talk about the initial one is it side effects one of them was a sweet tobacco type of situation no a little bit too crowd pleasing for me a little bit too predictable not bad but just not for me so we're going to move on from that i then wore endimon endimon is that how we're going to say that i guess so this i remember really liking it but i don't know if it's full bottle worthy the notes are there's some coffee in this some geranium some lavender nutmeg suede and some resins let's spray her and see yeah i remember really liking this i don't know if it's full bottle worthy but it was memorable mm, you really do get that lavender you get the geranium the nutmeg the resins yeah not bad I think I should hold on to this just in case one day I feel called. Mm, memorable. I might hold on to that one. I might just hold on to that sample. I then finished a classic. This is Elizabeth Arden Beauty. Beauty is a green watery floral. Very beautiful. Very classic. She's not loud. She sits beautifully on the skin during the summer this is a warm weather fragrance not too warm spring early early fall early autumn this is the time for her 
she's beautiful she's just not my style but she is worth me buying a small bottle to keep at the back of my cupboard this is a very classy very beautiful very understated signature scent worthy for many types of women uh, if you work in an office or you like to have a fragrance to throw on if you're a stay-at-home woman it just works if you're introducing a young woman to fragrance maybe your teenage daughter beautiful it has green notes this rice flower lotus rhubarb ginger sandalwood and musk in this it always reminds me of when you break break the stem of a flower and you can smell that water that's what this reminds me of it's a beautiful scent it's just not quintessentially ij but i am going to be buying a small bottle just to keep at the back of my fragrance cupboard this is nice i then finished something that is discontinued unfortunately this is mom and baby colonia infantile this is from niche beauty lab this is a gorgeous baby fragrance now there are no notes on the website but i have a feeling there's honey in this chamomile some mask something that makes it very sweet yet fresh and open and there's definitely powdery notes in this there's no need for me to talk too much about it if they brought this back i would buy about five bottles maybe even six in backup this is beautiful my nieces love this everyone loves this on me but it's a all it's a gone story i can't find it again so yeah i then finished a bottle of avon far and away infinity this is a flanker from the classic far and away fragrance it's okay not too bad let's spray it and <gasps> let's spray it and remind ourselves <laughs> about it it's actually such a nice fragrance it's just i like the original better Mm, it's a white floral uh, very fresh but it's made sweet with uh, vanilla and jasmine and the sandalwood and patchouli to ground it it's nice it's a comfortable sweet not over the top fragrance but I have such a big collection and it's not a standout enough for me to repurchase it but I'm happy I had it I'm happy I enjoyed it when I owned it moving on I have another sample of the new far away this is the latest release this is far away beyond this has pear pink pepper um orange blossom vanilla sandalwood mask patchouli the classic base of the classic far and away but it's far too sweet for me i don't know where they went wrong i don't know if it's the vanilla i don't know if it's the pear it smells a little bit too crowd pleasing it's it's uh, no no it's 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 a little bit too much for me yeah that that's definitely not for me definitely the last empty this is tweed by taylor this is a very old fragrance 1933 smells old <laughs> <laughs> smells like a like an old granny and I mean that in the sweetest of ways there is bergamot orange neroli in this is lavender jasmine oak moss patchouli it just smells like 1933 <laughs> but I enjoyed wearing it I enjoyed knowing it I don't know if I would repurchase this actually no I know I wouldn't repurchase this but yeah, it was fun to know it and yeah, that's been ticked off the box. Empty is done. By Jove, we are going to get through this. I don't want this to be a saga. I don't want this to be a long video. So now let's do fragrances that I've worn, that I have enjoyed, that I remembered. And there are not that many. Bring them closer let's start with my stubborn bay this is bijan bijan um oh let me smell her him 
This is a fragrance that was created in 1987. It's marketed towards men. This is one hella stubborn fragrance. To me, the essence of this fragrance is I don't care what you think about me. All that matters is what I think about me. There are some people who will smell this and be very angry. <laughs> and there's some people like me who smell this and they go like, Oh, hi. You're difficult. Do you want to be difficult with me? That's just what Bijan does for me. This is a very headstrong, very heady fragrance. It has over 30 notes. There's honey in this, there's carnation, geranium, rose, ylang ylang, there's spices, there's leather, there's oak moss. Like, there's everything in this. There's lavender. Now, in the winter, this is a beast. It can almost be intolerable. But in the summer, it, it sort of mellows down a little bit and that heavy base of the leather and the oak moss kind of fades away and all the florals really shine. So I've really enjoyed wearing this in the summer. Really nice. It works for me. I have a feeling I always have a bottle of Bijan in my collection. There's just something very classy, timeless, stubborn about it. And those three adjectives really suit me <laughs> so yeah Bijan if you're a fragrance collector and your collection is also about learning and having different types of fragrances in your collection get Bijan just just get it she's not spending I mean he's not spending just 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 get it get it this is something that just totally lifted my spirits and made me so happy this is Georges Resch Nuit Secret <sighs> chic Parisian French spa classy feminine not too floral not too sweet my mistake was to wear this in the winter and I was very angry. I remember thinking, oh, this thing, it doesn't smell like anything. It's not lasting. Then I decided, let me wear this in the summer. Oh, baby. This is good. This is really, really good. The notes are bergamot, peach, vanilla, rosemary, gardenia, and patchouli. And all of them work so well. The gardenia, the patchouli, the rose, the bergamot. It's like everything just just works. It just all... I need a backup bottle. As, as you can see, I went through this baby. I love her. This is something that I feel I could wear all my life. I'll, I'll probably always have a backup bottle if I can find it. This is so... The classiness is utterly ridiculous i love that i love 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 that next up is the only niche yes the only niche fragrance i have today this is khalifa by bella aroma this is modern fun cool kind of fragrance i think i would have absolutely loved this if i was younger i do love it but I think if I was younger, if I was a clubbing girl, you know, lots of dates and, you know, out here living my best life, this would have been a staple. But I still really do like it. You know, it has rose. There's some oud in here. Mm. It's jasmine, the sandalwood, the saffron. The saffron makes it quite spicy. The oud is wearable. The rose is there making it slightly sharp very nice very 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 nice i really like it i like it enough to actually consider buying a backup bottle it's really good <laughs> it, it, this is really 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 good absolutely love khalifa definitely a house that i'm going to be doing a deep dive on this is a british niche house just give me some time i just need to gather her coins gather her nose and do an in-depth review of this house but yeah khalifa if rose oud jasmine is your vibe saffron you need this in your life 
beautiful fragrance. This is something else that surprised me that behaved like the Nuet Secret. This is Burberry London. I wore this in the winter, I didn't get anything out of it, then I wore it in the summer and I was like, my god, you are going to declutter that? Do you see why you have to take time with your declutters? You really have to take time with your declutters. This is absolutely gorgeous. There's clementine, there's honeysuckle, there's rose. There's peony, there's jasmine, there's the tiara flower, there's sandalwood, there's musk, patchouli. This is a tester bottle, so all the notes are on the back. That's why I'm reading them off. Let's spray it so we can remind ourselves. There's a sweet, fresh, citrus, bright... It reminds me like you're wearing really beautiful perfume on a hot day and you've got this beautiful linen fabric around your body and the breeze is moving around you. You know, you're, you're comfortable, you smell good, you're fresh, you have some decent plans for your day. Very beautiful fragrance. I, I didn't see that one coming because these are not notes I go looking for. But yeah, the clementine shines, the honeysuckle shines. The rose is there in the background, the patchouli grounds things. Beautiful. I need a backup bottle. <laughs> really surprised me. I absolutely enjoyed every moment of wearing that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Really, really nice. The other baby that I won, this is Cabochard by Grey. This is a vintage formulation. Beautiful. This is quintessentially IJ. Smoky, floral, hint of tobacco. There's that oak moss, that patchouli. Smells classic, smells a little bit old, still smells mysterious. Really reminds me of um, Paradox by Pierre Cardin. Very, very me. The notes in this are aldehydes, spices, there's leather, there's oak moss. There's rose, there's geranium, I believe. Let me have a look. Yes, there's geranium, there's oris, there's ylang ylang, there's tobacco, vetiver, sandalwood. Classic for its time, 1959. It's an old fragrance. I am so glad to have this vintage bottle. I need to buy the new formulation, which comes in a different type of bottle as well, but this... I need to hunt a few more vintage formulations. I know I can find some on eBay because that's where I found this. Classic IJ. Classic. That that mysterious, smoky, yet feminine. Ugh. Nice. Declutter. This is where they are. I did not declutter too much. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten fragrances to go through with y'all. So let's go through them quickly. This is Eau de Misson by Le Couvent. This is a vanilla balm with a little bit too much benzoin in it. It just doesn't work for me. Um, when I spray it, it's too sharp. It, it gets into my nose. I know a lot of people love this. I might try and sell this so that I can add to my fragrance piggy bank. But yeah, this is going, it, it's just not working for me. Next up is Iris Absolute by Saint Hilaire. This was an absolute disappointment because the opening is so good. But it just doesn't last on the skin. I've tried it in the winter, I've tried it in the summer. It, it, it's just not working. There's cardamom in this, vetiver, lavender, bergamot, cedarwood. It's a classic male fragrance. The opening is absolutely beautiful. It just doesn't last. Moving on. A declutter from my husband's cupboard and I know why he doesn't wear this. This is very too bob. This is Davidoff the Brilliant Game. Now this has Campari, red berries, vermouth, bitter orange, cedar, tonka and caramel. Now all those are there. The Campari really stands out, the Tonka really stands out, so does the Campari, but it just doesn't last long on the skin and then it fades into this sweet, 
nondescript i couldn't be bothered to smell your kind of fragrance she's going next up is way by why way <laughs> massa street very nondescript despite having some gorgeous notes in this there's lily there's peony there's magnolia there's oris there's white mask it just doesn't last long on the skin it disappears i have tried both winter and summer moving on next up is shea and blue um english cherry blossom far too sweet maybe childlike for me this cherry blossom in this sour cherry woodsy notes and bergamot i know a lot of people love this this is just not my style i think you have to like cherry to like this the woodsy notes are barely there i tried time to let it go i then let go of kalu lily rose this this could have had potential but it, it has that kind of smell that gets stuck at the back of my throat and makes me feel a little bit sick just no i've tried i've tried this has rose tea freesia mask jasmine pretty little thing the rose is very pretty very watery type of rose just the, the experience no i no 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 Another fragrance that is slightly too childish for me. This is DKNY. Um, what is this? Be Delicious. The apple in this is far too sweet for me. It smells like a sweet. This cucumber, this grapefruit in this, this tuberose, this rose, woodsy notes. You don't really get the cucumber. The grapefruit doesn't make it fresh. The woodsy notes are barely there. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Next up is Goldair the Roman Nights by Bulgari. This is a beautiful fragrance. It's just not my style and I feel like somebody else will enjoy this more than me. Very beautiful. There's mulberry in this, rose, jasmine, carnation, there's vetiver, there's patchouli. Very beautiful, very modern, very sensual, somewhat juicy. I just feel like there's somebody else who's gonna rock this a little bit more a little bit more happier than me not a bad fragrance in fact this is a fragrance if you bought somebody a girly girl she would be absolutely over the moon there's just somebody else who will love it a little bit more than me i'm really trying to tidy up my collection and letting go of fragrances that just don't make my heart sing that's beautiful it just doesn't make my heart sing next next up is paul smith extreme now there's nothing extreme about this fragrance i want to remind myself yeah it is uh, i think also it's my body chemistry with this it turns it somewhat sweaty the citrus there's rosemary there's geranium there's rosewood tonka and nutmeg in this very young man friendly um very office friendly it's it's one of the only masculine fragrances i've come across that i cannot get away with there's not much left but somebody else can amuse themselves for five minutes with it no moving on and that's that we got through it <laughs> there's a big mess around me right now but yeah that's my fragrance diary that's what i have worn finished and decluttered over the month of july and august i am back to my normal routine i have some sort of system that i follow so hopefully next month september and october will not be so chaotic as this video thank you so much for being here i hope you find some value in this video to do a little bit of happy shopping and remember take your time when you're decluttering your fragrances keep hold on to them for about a year wear them through the seasons before you let go if i didn't do that i would have let go of two fabulous gems thank you so much for being here my name is ijama and i'll see you soon